hello good morning and welcome back to my channel so this morning i'm going to do a quick video on um sublimating a tumbler so this is the first one i did i think it turned out pretty cool i what what I, I did mess up on i didn't um tape it tight enough so it shifted a little bit so it didn't get all the way at the bottom but i think it turned out pretty cool i got this um this design this lady i purchased this from etsy um i have a silhouette so i i have the silhouette subscription and i got this be your own kind of beautiful i got that from the silhouette store and i got this pattern from the silhouette store as well um so i'm just gonna show y'all real quick so i have this con convection oven i purchased this from walmart it's a hamilton beach brand it was 74 dollars so I have my tumbler. I purchased this one from Johnson Plastic. This is a 14 ounce white stainless steel tumbler. So this is the one I'm going to um, do this morning. I have my heat tape. I have my um, design. Um, my first sergeant is um, my old first son. He's retiring. So um, I'm going to make this for him as a retirement gift. Um, I have heat tape. I have heat resistant gloves. I have these... Um, shrink wrap uh bags i'm not i can't remember the name of them but instead of using like taping it up and doing all that stuff i'm going to use the shrink wrap bag i purchased these from condi i will leave the um link in the description below i have my um my thermometer in there inside um it's just a meat thermometer i purchased that or an oven thermometer i purchased that from um bed bath and beyond it was like 14 dollars um, I have this one as well. I purchased this one from Walmart. This is the one I used when I when I did my first tumbler. I purchased this from Walmart. It was like $18. I didn't like this. So I'm going to just use this one as um, my timer because, again, I don't like it. Actually, I don't even need that plugged in. So I'm just going to use this one as my timer. And I also have my um, heat gun. Heat gun for uh, my shrimp wrap. So since it is hot now, and I have mine on seven minutes. Um, when I looked at the directions, it said between six to seven minutes. So, um, I think for this one, I think I had this one on seven minutes as well. I don't know. But, um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to first take this top off. I am going to put my image on here and let me go ahead and cut some tape off. Um, I don't have a fancy tape dispenser. <laughs> I need to get one though. I mean, I, I just feel like at this point I'm being like really cheap. When I first started sublimating, I bought the tape from um, Cobra Inks. And the tape dispenser was like $30. And I'm like, whoa, what kind of tape in tape dispenser do I need? And then when I got it, I realized it was just like a roll of tape, nothing fancy. I'm like, Psh, I can go buy one of these tape dispensers from Walmart or an office supply store. And guess what? I just... Almost four years later, four years later, I still haven't um, did it yet. So, um, so I'm just going to. So one thing about Johnson Plastic is the um, like anything you buy, you have downloadable templates. Templates. So I downloaded this, so it fits perfectly. Um, I printed it the biggest size. Like you have um, the template. It'll give you like the printable um, area, the bleed area, and then. I forgot what the other square is, but I just cut it to the biggest square because sometimes I'll be careless. So I just wanted to make sure that I have it all over. I didn't bring no alcohol. So you always want to uh, clean your areas with alcohol. Um, I didn't do that. So I'm just trying to line this up and make sure it gets on the bottom the bottom the top everywhere so i'm just trying to line it up perfectly i think i did so like i said i just cut i just did it to the biggest um size so i'm gonna cut a little bit off because it is too big, but I wanted to make sure I had enough because again, I be careless. Sometimes I make I be making a lot of careless mistakes, so I just want to be on the safe side. 
it's still a bit much. I'm gonna cut a little bit more off. Not too much. Just a little bit. So I just trimmed a little bit off because like I said, I did cut it. Um, I did use the biggest area to do my image because again, I be making careless mistakes sometimes. So, and then I'm just going to tape it up. So, you want it to be tight, of course. That's where anything sublimate, when you're sublimating anything. But you want it to be tight. So, I pulled it really tight. And I'm just going to put um, a few strips of tape on here. Like so. Right. Just put a few strips of tape. I'm going to put some more. You know, it's just tape. <laughs> Probably just going to tape it down the, the seam of it. That's a good idea. Just tape it right there. All right. So, it's taped up. So now I am going to put it inside this sleeve. Well, my tape is sticking to it. <laughs> so I'm going to put it inside the sleeve. Like I said, I purchased these sleeves from Condi. Um, I will leave the description down below. The link in the description below. Sorry. So we're just going to put that on like that and I'm going to put on one of my gloves before I do my um my heat gun because these things get hot so basically we're just going to shrink wrap it or heat it up until it's like tight basically shrink wrap it all the way around I shrink wrap this um I mean I didn't really do too good on the bottom but I don't think it matters so I shrink wrap that so this is what it looks like so now I am going to ow that oven door is hot <laughs> I'm going to put it in I'm going to lay it down um I could stand it up but since the bottom is not smooth I just figured I'd lay it down and then I'm going to start my timer so as I said I put it on seven minutes so i will be back in seven minutes to show you guys what it looks like okay okay i am back one minute is almost up so let's see what we have Time is almost up. Call CJ. The mm -hmm. All right, our time is up. So, and of course you can see the print. Let me turn this off because I'm not going to do another one. You can see the print already. So, let's hope it turned out good. <laughs> so, I'm not sure if you're supposed to like wait a certain amount of time to take this off. I mean, when I do any other sublimation stuff, I don't really wait. So I'm going to assume it's okay for me to take this off now. So 
tell you what though, these gloves are not, um, I can feel the heat. So, let's see what I have. I don't want to scratch it up. Again, I did cut it um, a little bit big, and you can tell it's like so. I have to work on this, and then I obviously I didn't tape it up good enough. I don't really, I don't really know, cause that looks like tape on that side. So maybe I shouldn't have put the tape down the center, and then it looked like it shifted a little bit. But for the most part part I like it it's good so this is just my second one so I am going to practice a little more and um, get the seam part down pat and voila that's it make a good retirement gift all right y'all thank y'all for tuning in and until next time have a great day on purpose Well, I can't even stop my camera.